Tech Brothers with Dhamma. Today we are going to answer this question and learn uh, how to do this uh, task. How to get all triggers uh, with table names in SQL Server. So this is uh, important. Sometimes we have to provide the information uh, for all the triggers uh, that we have on different uh, tables. So first of all, we need to go to the database in which uh, we are looking uh, to find the triggers and uh, table names so we have different databases here i have created one of the trigger in the sales database so i'm going to click here get to new query and then uh, next part is uh, of our question is called uh, get the table names so first uh, let's get the table names select so start from uh, sys tables so this view system view is going to give us all the tables uh, in uh, this database so that's what we have right now if i show you here i have these uh, different uh, tables uh, that i'm seeing uh, right here now once we have the tables uh, the next part is finding the triggers on uh, tables so th there is another system uh, view that can return us uh, the triggers so we have triggered sys dot triggers uh, that can return us the trigger so we have trigger here we have object id and we have a uh, uh, parent class that's the one and then we have parent id so this is important for us parent id is the, the id of uh, the table so that's where we are going to join them and get the information so let's uh, write our query real quick start from sys dot tables and we can call tbl inner join on sys dot triggers we can use intellisense trg on tbl dot object id is equal to our trigger dot parent id so now they are joined correctly let's get the information so from tbl what we need we need the name of a table as table name sorry and then uh, from trg what we need we need a trigger name so we need name but this will be trigger name and then uh, we can get uh, any other information such as uh, trigger description or type description uh, if we are interested created date modified date uh, so if we want to get that information we can get that let me get that one trg dot create date this is an important sometime we want to know what time the trigger was created or which time the trigger was modified so right now we have this let's run the query so we get this information one important column what we are missing here is uh, the schema of the table we have the table name but that could be maybe we have different schemas uh, and uh, uh, this table is a part of uh, two schemas or maybe more than that so we want to know the exact schema this table belong to so i will uh, use a function uh, here called schema name and then uh, i'm gonna use uh, the object id a schema id from the table tbl dot schema id that we have given as a table schema so now we are all set uh, we have the table name we have schema name we have tr trigger written on the table so this is uh, that's how you write uh, your queries uh, i could have just pasted query and walk you through but i want to show you how exactly i write my queries how i go and find the columns and th then uh, i join them and uh, get the related information so thanks very much for watching this video i'm going to put the script on the blog as well as it will be in the description and uh, you will uh, see the um, blog link uh, to the uh, in the description as well so you can go there and copy paste the script thanks very much see you next video